so in this how-to video, which um, we're, we've actually got a bison uh, video, we're talking about bison's products. This is about how you would actually center a component into a chuck. Now it might seem dead simple, and I know, you know, in fact, it was only the other week I was doing this on a lathe at a university, yeah. just getting my, familiarizing myself again with how I used to do things. And I know Mike from Bison actually saw that because he commented, and yes, I should have been wearing safety <laughs> glasses, but I wasn't, which was a mistake. <laughs> Gio, what's happening here? And uh, why should people be watching these and who would be watching these types of videos? I think that um, it's so important. It's the basics of engineering, is it? isn't it? It's what you learn at college and, and when you first start getting into um, engineering. And um, it's basically just learning how to clock up a component. I mean, you've done it the hard way, to be fair. You used a four-jaw chuck That's in that video. Yeah, so you try to, you know, four-jaw chuck holding a round part. You know, usually you look into old prismatic parts with a four-jaw chuck. But, but with, with this particular video, they're actually using a six-jaw chuck in this particular video. So shouldn't it centralise anyway? It should do, but th there's reasons why it's, it wouldn't be running true. And, and, and that could be that you're holding on rough billet, mm. or it could be that the jaws are not bored out correctly, yeah. or on this particular... It could, could be bent. It could be bent. Yeah. We just don't know. But on that particular occasion, Paul, you can see that they're using hard jaws. So... Hard jaws are never going to be kind of running absolutely perfectly true. They're more to hold on first up rough billet work. Um, and there's an argument to say, do you really need to clock up a rough billet because you're going to be turning it? And if there's a lot of meat on that billet, then not really. But it's when you're spinning the component round to do the second operation. You're holding on a, on a, a true shaft. Mm. You need to, the other end to be running absolutely perfectly true to what you're holding on. So the part's completely concentric. There's nothing worse. I, I remember doing this so many times when you, you're clocking a bar and you've almost got the zero, zero, and you might be, you know, the, the tiniest of margins out and then you make one tap and suddenly it throws it all and you've got to start <laughs> again. But uh, this, this gentleman's obviously better at it than us. Well, just tell us about where people can find these videos if they're after just uh, instructional, educational stuff like this. Yep, so all these videos can be found on the Bison platforms. They're on YouTube under Bison. They're also on the MTD CNC platform under suppliers and under Bison. It's our, our purpose at MTD to educate as it is with all of our suppliers. It is absolutely key. So please check them out if you've got any apprentices within your facility or you're looking to just follow the procedures that are the right procedures that you should be following.